Hello, Dr. Joe here. So the question we're going to tackle in this video is, is berberine better than metformin? The straightforward answer to that very question is yes and no. And we're going to look at the two aspects, the yes as well as the no in this very video. And I've got a very nice tip for you on how to get the best out of berberine. So you stay tuned. But just before we continue, a quick plug. The second edition of my book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach has just been published. Links to get your copy right below this very video. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with a no as promised. And uh, we are going to look at both the no and the yes through the telescope of this uh, very study here that was published in Metabolism Journal with the title, Efficacy of Berberine in Patients with Type 2 Diabetes. So let's have a quick look at the study design. It was actually two studies in one. In the first arm of the study, what they did was the study authors recruited recently diagnosed type 2 diabetics. And in the second study, uh, they recruited pre-existing diabetics who were already on treatment. So these are people who are taking one, two, or three medications uh, for diabetes already. And uh, what they did was they added bare brain to the pre-existing medications to see whether the addition of the bare brain will provide a synergistic effect and improve both the blood sugar profile as well as lipid profiles of uh, those uh, pre-existing diabetics. The study lasted for three months. And what they did was they gave the study participants 500 milligrams of berberine three times a day for study number one, or metformin, 500 milligrams, three times a day, uh, and to see uh, what happens. Uh, so the study participants were either receiving bare brain or metformin, 500 milligrams three times a day for study number one. And for study number two, remember, this is for pre-existing diabetics. All they did was add bare brain to pre-existing medications that uh, those patients were already using. So let's look at the study results. Now, for bare brain, what they found was that HbA1c which is the average blood sugar readings over the last 90 days, reduced from 9.5% to 7.5%. That's a fantastic drop. This is bare brain, by the way, okay? This is bare brain, not a big pharma medication. This is a supplement. HbA wants to drop from 9.5% to 7.5%. And fasting blood glucose dropped from 10.6 millimole per liter to 6.9 millimole per liter. In uh, North American units, we're talking about berberine dropping fasting blood glucose from 190 to 124 milligram per deciliter. That's a fantastic improvement in fasting uh, blood glucose profile. So what about post meal blood glucose? Well, uh, berberine dropped post meal blood glucose from 19.1 to 11.1 .1 millimole per liter. And in North American units, Bevrin dropped post-meal blood glucose from 343 to 199 milligram per deciliter. This is really good news for Bevrin. We're talking just three months, okay? Three months, and we're getting results like this. So what about metformin? Well, the blood sugar metrics for metformin were quite similar. So for instance, HbA1c for metformin dropped from 9.1% to 7.2%. So here we go, okay? Uh, for berberine, 9.5% to 7.5%. This is what I'm saying that uh, the results were similar and the same thing applied to the fasting blood glucose as well as post-meal blood glucose for metformin. No difference at all, okay? There was no difference in the blood glucose profile, both for metformin and for berberine meaning there was no superiority between metformin and berberine. Both were evenly matched, okay? They were evenly matched. Uh, no difference. Metformin was not superior to berberine, and berberine was not superior to metformin. Uh, so uh, that's why it's a no, okay? Uh, the answer to the question, is berberine better than metformin? 
Well, as far as the no segment is concerned, uh, for blood glucose profile, uh, there is no difference. So that was the no answer to this very question. Now let's look at the yes answer to the question. Is Bebrin better than metformin? Indeed it is. This is the yes part. So we're going to look at this now from the uh, blood lipid results, okay, blood fats. So for Bebrin, Bebrin dropped total cholesterol by 0.57 millimole per liter. And in North American units, that's the equivalent of 22 point drop. Okay, bare brain dropping cholesterol by 22 points uh, on its own. What about metformin? How much did metformin drop uh, cholesterol? Well, total cholesterol dropped by 0.04 millimole per liter. Uh, the equivalent is 1.5 points. Okay, 1.5 points in milligram per deciliter using North American units. So bare brain dropping total cholesterol by 22 points and uh, metformin dropping total cholesterol by 1.5 points. The difference is clear. Hence, it is a yes. Uh, Bebrin is superior to metformin as far as blood lipids are concerned. How about we look at uh, triglycerides then? Well, uh, Bebrin dropped triglycerides by 0.24 millimole per liter which is 21 points using north american units versus metformin that dropped triglycerides by 0.02 millimole per liter which is 1.8 points okay 1.8 milligram uh, per deciliter so here again bebrin is winning by a stretch bebrin dropping triglycerides by 21 points versus metformin dropping uh, triglycerides by just 1.8 points. The difference is clear. Bebrin is superior to metformin as far as improvements in blood lipid profiles is concerned. Uh, this is a clear victory for Bebrin over metformin. Hence, it is a yes. Now, I'm going to give you the tip on how to get the best out of your Bebrin supplement in a minute. But before then, I just want to talk about the takeaways from this very study. The main takeaway is that Bare brain supplement is just as effective as metformin in the management of your blood sugar if you have got type 2 diabetes. And you can use it if you've been recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes or you have type 2 diabetes before and you are already on anti-diabetic medications but your blood sugar control is still not very good. Well, bare brain supplement is certainly one to consider to add into the mix. But if you're going to do that, please do let your doctor know, okay? It's good practice to do that. The other takeaway is that Bebrin supplement is actually very good in the management of our blood lipids. Bebrin does reduce cholesterol and triglycerides, like you saw in the presentation. So it is certainly a supplement to consider if you're struggling with your cholesterol and your triglycerides, okay? So that's another takeaway. Now over to the tip. And the tip is also coming from the study. What the study authors did in the study was they made the study participants to take their Bebrin supplement 500 milligrams three times a day before they had their meals. So here's my suggestion for you. If you're going to consider using Bebrin supplement, my suggestion is you take your 500 milligrams of the bare brain 30 minutes before you have each meal. You do that, hopefully you're going to get the same results like they did in that very study. So going forward, is bare brain a supplement you're going to consider using? Do let me know in the comment section or if you are already using it, also do let me know in the comment section. So hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, family and colleagues. Questions, comments down below. That's it for this video. Until next time. Well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.